This is MathCamp 321, giving you a lesson on integration by substitution. In this integration technique, what you're going to want to do is look for an expression in your problem that is the derivative of some other expression. So I'd like you to start by focusing on the 2x in the integrand. This expression 2x is the derivative of this other expression x squared plus 1. So the procedure will be as follows. I'm going to let u equal x squared plus 1. I'm now going to take the derivative of this equation with respect to x. This is going to get me du dx equals 2x. I'm now going to cross multiply and I end up with du equals 2x dx. I'm going to take these three facts and I'm going to place them in a box. Looking back at the original problem, I'd like you to note that the last part of the expression ends with 2x dx. And down at the bottom in the box, we also end with 2x dx. So with all of these elements in the box, I'm going to be able to rewrite the initial problem, which is rather complicated. And I'm going to be able to rewrite it into something very, very simple, exclusively in terms of u. So instead of writing x squared plus 1 squared, I can just simply write u squared because u and x squared plus 1 are the same thing according to our legend. Now the original problem ends with 2x dx, and we said down here in the box that 2x dx is the same as du. Now if you had to choose between two problems to do, comparing the originally stated problem with this new problem in terms of u, the new problem is much easier. So let's go ahead and take the antiderivative. Let's leave some space write down u, raise the power from 2 to a 3, and multiply by the reciprocal. Now because this integral is indefinite, we need a plus c at the end. Now we go back and we back substitute. What was u in the first place? Well, u was x squared plus 1. So we end up getting 1 third times the expression x squared plus 1 cubed, because it's cubed up here, and then of course plus c. And you could always check yourself by actually treating this as a function and finding the derivative. If you found the derivative of this, you'd end up with the original problem that we started with. So this was your first example of integration by substitution. It was a basic example, but it's definitely one that you need to pay attention to and practice so you can do this on your own. So this is our second example of integration by substitution. I want to look at my problem and ask myself, is there an expression that is the derivative of some other expression? What I'm going to do in this problem is let u equal x minus 4. Now I'm going to take the derivative of this equation with respect to x. When I do that, I get du dx equals 1. If I cross multiply, I end up with du equals dx. I'm going to take these three facts and place them in a box. I'd like you to take note that the end of the expression in the originally stated problem is dx. And we also have a dx here, which is the same as du. I'm now going to take the originally stated problem and rewrite it in terms of u. So instead of x minus 4 to the 10th, I'm going to say u to the 10th. Instead of ending with dx, I'm going to end with du. And this is a much simpler integration problem than the originally stated one. So I'm going to leave some space, raise the power from 10 to 11, and multiply by the reciprocal, which would be 1 over 11. Don't forget your plus c. And we'll finish the problem by back substituting in for u. What was u in the first place? Well, for this particular problem, u is x minus 4. And of course, don't forget the plus c. So here's our final answer for the second example. So this is our third example of basic integration by substitution. And again, the process is picking something for u for which its derivative is also present in the problem. This isn't always easy for some students, and you have to be resilient. You have to be willing to try something and if it doesn't work, you have to be willing to try something else. So what I'm noticing is that the expression 2x is the derivative of x squared minus 5. 
So I'm going to go ahead and let u equal x squared minus 5. Taking the derivative of this equation with respect to x, I get du dx equals 2x. Cross multiplying, I get du equals 2x dx. I'm going to take these results and place them in a box. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to interchange the first factor and the second factor of the integrand because they're trying to play a little trick on us here by switching those around. So I'm going to start with the radical this time. We have x squared minus 5 under the radical. And then the 2x, which is in front, I'm now going to put at the back. Now let's notice that this expression here, this integrand, ends with 2x dx. And what we have here at the bottom of the box ends with 2x dx, and that's simply du. Let's rewrite the problem exclusively in terms of u. So now instead of the square root of x squared minus 5, I'm going to say the square root of u. And instead of 2x dx, I'm going to just say du. And this problem here is much easier to integrate than the initially stated problem. My next maneuver will be to rewrite this using fractional exponents as u to the 1 half power. I'm now ready to take the antiderivative. I'll leave some space, raise the power from 1 half to 3 halves, multiply by the reciprocal, which would be 2 thirds, and then add on our arbitrary constant plus c. And my final step will be to back substitute and replace u for its originally stated expression, which in this case is x squared minus 5. So in this video, I've given three examples of basic integration by substitution. It does get a little bit harder, but this is a good place to start.